After we've made a geometry scan, we can now make a texture scan. On the screen you still see the last geometry scan we made. It's important that between making a geometry scan and a texture scan, the object and the camera are not being touched. They should stay on the table as they are. Like before, first we have to set on the video. Now The situation is still a little bit dark, even though I've turned on the lights and opened my curtains by now. You can see that there's slight some light spots indicating that there is a little change. But my enhancements that I set earlier are still active, so I have to deactivate them first. So I go to Enhancement Video, Reset, OK, and there I am. We have a normal light laser, I don't need any more, so I'll turn it off. Next thing I have to do is I have to make sure that my system is set up. Also be aware of shadows, try to minimize these as much as possible. Now to set it up my scan, I can again use the process in the scan session panel or from the menu. Now I'm using the, the panel. PC control, USB, hard disk, 200 steps, it all stays the same except the scan goes from geometry to texture. I press OK. We have set up our scan. Initialize like before. OK. Start. And as you can see, the turntable now spins in a well lit situation. It is just like before grabbing frames again, as we can see here in the bottom corner. And the speed of the scan is approximately the same as we had with the geometry scan. A little bit patient again, it just might take one or two minutes depending on the complexity of the scan. In the beginning you typically would want to take some small scans, use smaller camera resolutions, use smaller step resolutions until you are familiar with the system and go to the more advanced systems. There we are, scan has been finished. Again we get a scan, compile settings. Camera angle has no impact anymore, turntable center either. The only thing we have to do is set a start stop marker just like before. Slide it to zero, press start, slide it to the maximum number all the way to the right, press stop. Scan line isolation level does not have any effect right now. So we press OK. We compile the scan and now it runs through the frames again and it will only use the information in the center line of the image. Preview results, just like before, say yes. And there we have the texture that we can wrap around the geometry in the builder. Save the texture and just like before, save it in an appropriate name and appropriate place. And that's all there is to making a texture scan.